So I'm wearing one of my fancy shirts today because it's going to be a fancy day. Just feel it. It's going to be fancy. Diesel, can you sit? Why are you standing? Seats are meant for sitting. Don't stand in your seat. Oh, we've done our pre trip. We've walked the weasel. We're going to have to stop somewhere down the road for a coffee and breakfast for me. But uh, we're ready to go right now, anyways. We're all good to go. Nothing else needs to be done. Hello there. Indeed, hello. I'll clean my eyes out. Good morning time. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever part of the world you're in. I am in Michigan, United States of America. Where where are we? Galesburg, Michigan. Galesburg, Michigan. And it's a good, mm, decent day. Decent. It's a pretty warm night though. This is what it looks like where we're at here right now. Lots of leaves still on the trees. It doesn't get that cold here, not yet. Yesterday it was 23 degrees Celsius in November. But hey, I'm not complaining. I had to turn on the AC last night before I went to bed and cool the place down. And that was the middle of the night. So we're headed towards Iowa. Waterloo, Iowa. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be grand. I'm glad you're here. I need some company. He doesn't talk much. Hey, Diesel. Hey, you love me? A little bit? You like cows more? Eh, he probably likes cows more. And Michigan. Michigan, Michigan. Michigan, Bo Michigan. That's the only rhyme I could come up with. How was it? We're at mile marker 63 here. Headed west from Detroit towards Chicago. Looks like we'll be in Chicago in a couple of hours. We're just gonna pass by the southern part of it there on I-80. Gonna sneak through Indiana there. Just a little strip at the top. And meander our way into the great state of Iowa. Look how many leaves are still on the trees here. Like they're just barely changing color. Well, they've changed color, but they're still on the trees here. This is crazy. Do you guys even get winter up here in Michigan? I know you do. I know you get some snow. What, do you have snow for like two weeks? Lucky you. Michigan usually gets a lot of snow. But their winter season isn't nearly as long as Manitoba's. Oh, there's some bare naked trees over there. Okay. All right, so some trees gave up already. The rest are pretty, pretty determined. They're hanging on. Look at that there on the left. Bunch of naked trees over there. Lots of leaves still there. It's amazing how you go just a few, what would you say, degrees or a few latitude, longitude, whatever. You go a little south and summer just seems to last longer. It's amazing how climate works like that. I find it fascinating. I'm still waiting for my coffee, that's why I probably am talking about the most boring stuff you could possibly think of. Look at the leaves! Yeah, that's the extent of my brain power right now. So I still haven't even found a truck stop or anything I can pull in and get a coffee, but I'm sure there's one soon. We'll figure it out. Welcome to the day. Welcome. How many of you live around here? What is going on here? We got some police presence. Oh, this is an oversized load. Look, to, look over there to the right. Oh, that van truck is gonna block our view of it. Oh, come on, bad timing. There's a oversized load there. Wow. Police escorts and everything. Man, that trucker's feeling like the boss right now. That would be fun. That would be fun. I want a police, where's my police escort?
wonder how they came up with that name. Waterloo. Cedar Valley Sport. There's a lot of cedar stuff around here too. Cedar Rapids, Cedar Falls. In 1.6 kilometers, take exit 182 on right to Fletcher Avenue. Fletcher Avenue it is, Mandy. I like the way you think. That's exactly where I was thinking of going. We're gonna exit on exit 182 right away. And then we're gonna wait at our customer. They can't unload me until 9.30 tonight. It is now, what, five? Five. Yes, so we will wait. And if they unload us quickly, we'll have plenty enough time to get back to the truck stop before I run out of my hours on my day. If not, I'm sleeping right there, whether they like it or not. Well, Diesel, we're here at the customer. Yeah, we're here. Made it. I'm gonna take you out right away. We're here and uh, they won't unload us till 9.30, like I was saying. My superior and advanced negotiation and coercion skills were no match for their no when I went in there to ask if I could be unloaded early. I tried, I tried. I went in there, I went all nice and being, hey, wondering if I could at least get into a door. Cause then I figured if I'm in a door and they have some spare time, maybe they'll unload me. Mm -hmm. At least then I'd be in the door at 9.30, right? And they can just give her. Nope. Nope. Gotta stay out here, away from the doors, out in their yard. So at least uh, I'm, I'm here. I'll have enough hours to get back to the truck stop after they're done unloading me. I'll be the first one here. I will be on the ball and at 9.30 I will be in there bugging them. Hey! Remember me? Unload my stuff. It's actually your stuff. It's their stuff. I don't want it. They bought it. So they got to take it. So at 9.30 again. At night, which is weird, right? They are open during the day, but they close at 4 o'clock. And then they reopen at 9.30 again. So a bit of a gap between the shifts. <coughs> I'm just... <coughs> cannot shake this cough. I'm not coughing up any phlegm. It doesn't hurt or anything. It's controllable. It's just there. It's like my lungs are just itchy or scratchy, you know? It's, I don't know. All right, so in the meantime, we're uh, we're off duty. So I'm gonna go work on some videos. I am going to vacuum this truck out and clean it out because it needs a good cleaning. I'm gonna wipe everything down. We're gonna have a nice shiny truck to deliver with, on the inside anyways. And we'll patiently wait for them to accept the freight that they ordered. Because I don't want it. I don't want it, it's weighing me down. See what I did there? It's weighing me down. I know, forgive me, healthy eating gods. I have sinned. There's a McDonald's here. What? I barely made it. I made it here with six minutes left on my clock. Uh, when I was done unloading in Waterloo, I went over to the Flying J that's across the street, actually, over there, uh, and tried to get a spot there. It was all packed. So I was going to go to the Pilot, which is across the street, just down from where I am now. But on the way there, I saw that there's parking at McDonald's. Whole pile of parking. You see all those trucks out there? You see them? We're just not going to focus on them, is it? Crazy camera. See? Tons of parking. So I pulled in here and lo and behold, there's a spot for Trucker Josh at McDonald's. So I had to go in there and become a patron of their restaurant to say thank you for allowing me to park in your beautiful yard. Beautiful yard with all my friends. And I got a chicken McNugget meal. A 10 piece chicken McNugget meal and some fries. I haven't had McDonald's in a long time. What? Judge me if you want. I don't care. I love McDonald's. <laughs> yes, I have seen the Super Size Me video. Yes, I know how unhealthy it is. And yes, I'm still going to eat it because it's so delicious. Heaven. Why does everything that's so bad for you have to be so good? You ever notice that? Everything that's good for you sucks. And everything that's bad for you is really, really enjoyable. It's like God's prank on us. It's like he's up there going like, eh, let's see here. I'm gonna make all of this stuff here really fun and really tasty and really enjoyable. But I'm also gonna make it very bad for them. <laughs> I guess when you're God, you get to play jokes like that. At least he has a sense of humor. Though I don't find it very funny. I would like to eat McDonald's and actually lose weight. I think that would be the perfect world. Don't you, wouldn't that be amazing? If like the things that were the most fun to do, whether it be, you know, like eating junk food, eating McDonald's, 
alcohol or whatever people do on their leisure time. Wouldn't it be great if that stuff would like help you lose weight and actually boost your health and boost your energy and no, no, that probably wouldn't be. That wouldn't be good at all because we'd all be drunk all the time. <laughs> That'd be a terrible idea. What are you so excited about, Diesel? What are you so excited about? Well, you were just excited a second ago. <laughs> you, you, I don't know if you know this, but there's some food over there on the bed. I think it's in that brown bag, man. I could smell it. Just wondering if you're going to eat that. That's my McNuggets, Diesel. Paws off my McNuggets. Hey, sit up. Sit up. Does that mean I'm getting McNugget? Look at him, he wants one so bad. I know they're in there, man. You've got an expert sniffer there, buddy. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Good boy. Good boy. But that that's human food, man. Human food. You could maybe have one. You want a McNugget? Does Diesel want a McNugget? I don't know what that is, but I'll have one, please. I only got ten, though, okay? So you can only have one. I'm hungry. You already got your treats. Oh, and so ends another vlog. Look at the weasel. There he is. Don't know what he's staring at. But there he is. There he's getting closer. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, someone spots McDonald's. Oh, it's moving out of the screen there, isn't it? You gotta trust me, there's a McDonald's fries on the dash over there that I'm looking at. Oh, they were good. Oh yeah, there's my workspace. There's the fries again. There's the fries. Oh, now I want McDonald's again. Space. That's where I spent my life. And there's all my friends. There they are. Well, thanks for watching today, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did like the vlog, and I will see you.